I know crooks really well. You give them an inch and they take a mile, and you give them a mile and they take your whole country. Number of votes. 65% of the vote had been cast. Under normal circumstances, like if this were a fair media, your state would have been called for Trump. I mean, Virginia was called with 10% of the vote. It turned out to be separated by 1%. I think we may have actually won Virginia, but that's another battle. So what you just heard there was a couple clips from Rudy Giuliani. In the first, you basically hear him say that he knows crooks very well, and that if you give crooks an inch, they'll take a mile, and if you give them a mile, they'll take the whole country. Then you hear him basically imply that states like Virginia, even due to all the shenanigans they they've supposedly are unearthing, they supposedly have all this evidence for, were in actuality narrowly won by Donald Trump, even though Virginia was like a 10 point differential between Trump and Biden in this election. It's absolute madness. This press conference, this hearing, quote unquote, was absolute lunacy. Everything about it. First off the top, Trump was supposed to have gone, but somebody in that legal team got COVID, it possibly related to Rudy's son getting COVID last week. How Rudy Giuliani himself has not got it is a minor miracle, depending on your perspective, of course. And so Trump pieced out of the event at that point. He didn't show up. Ellis and Giuliani are still there. It's also the reality that this isn't a hearing. This is being marketed by Trump legal team people and by right-wing sources and, you know, OAN type sources as an actual, you know, uh, formal hearing, you know, related to the Pennsylvania state government. And there are elected officials and officials from Pennsylvania there, but this is being done in like a private hotel. This is rented space. This is more like a private campaign's press conference than any formal hearing, but they're trying to increase the air of legitimacy by making it look like a hearing, by making it look like this is actually a an arm of the Pennsylvania government hearing a case, but the results have already been certified. Pennsylvania has certified. It's over. It's over in Pennsylvania. It's over in Michigan. It's over in the country. Trump supporters just have not realized that yet. And again, I think what this is all about and, you know, this isn't quite as crazy as Rudy literally sweating dye down his face, but it's not too far from that, is that this is 100% a grift right now. 100%. There's, a, it, there's the immediate grift of getting as much money as Trump and his legal team can get so they can all get paid and Trump can fundraise off of this under the guise of of this heroic legal defense of democracy, but there's the longer term need to keep the Trump base engaged and within the Trump sphere, lest they start to, you know, sort of go their own way because Trump knows he's lost. He knows it. He knows he's lost. He might not believe he lost fairly, but he knows he's lost and his legal team knows it. They know that. And it's all about 2024 now and protecting the Trump brand as the preeminent head of the Republican Party. Don't listen to any of this. It wasn't a real hearing. None of that matters. And I'll tell you one thing. Rudy Giuliani gives the hand away here when he says he knows a lot of crooks. And what he's trying to say, obviously, is that. You know, I've often worked as a prosecutor. I have a long history of, you know, holding those types of folks to account. But what he's actually saying, if only subconsciously, if only intentionally, unintentionally, excuse me, is that he's the crook. Trump's the crook. Ellis is the crook. Sidney Powell is the crook. They're the crooks. Joe Biden and and the Democrats didn't, didn't, you know, pilfer this election. They didn't do that. You know, you might not agree with Biden. You might not be happy he won. You might be even from me on the left who's happy he beat Trump, but disappointed he's president because he's not going to be a good president. But the people actually doing the theft right now are Trump and company. They're the ones trying to steal the will of the American people. And Giuliani is the leader, uh, however ineffectively, of that movement. He's the crook. He's the criminal here. He's the man trying to steal democracy. Don't forget that however hilarious this is, their actual intent was nefarious 
and they should go to their graves seen as the enemies of democracy that they are. 